Hello, welcome to the beautiful family arena in beautiful St. Charles, Missouri, and I even say that even though the mayor's not here. Uh, my name is Jeff Burton from 590 The Man, 590TheMan.com. I do uh, Midday Mayhem with my partner Brian McKenna back there, and uh, I've been friends with Jamie for a little while. Now he asked me to come up and MC this thing, and I'm sending him a bill in a little bit, but it'll be fun either way. Uh, hockey fans, just hockey fans, should be very, very excited about what's going on here. I know that things have been in the works for a very, very long time. There's going to be some surprise names here today, names that you guys are going to know. Uh, I don't know any of those surprises, and I don't know any of those names. So I'm going to get out of the way and introduce to you the Director of Hockey Operations for the Central Hockey League, uh, Jim Wiley. Jim Wiley. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. And uh, it's certainly a pleasure always for the Central Hockey League to uh, witness hockey enthusiasts, as I uh, can honestly believe I observe right now. I might add the applause that you gave at this particular time after my announcement. I probably, due to the nature of my job, will be the last time you ever applaud. <laughs> it's, again, it's, it's very exciting to be here. The, the Central Hockey League is always evolving, as most leagues are in professional sports. And I can honestly tell you that we at the league office are extremely excited uh, to be here in St. Charles, Missouri. I, I think the venue itself, I have not ever had the pleasure of being here. I've been around this area, but never right here. So I was pretty impressed with the, with the building itself and understand that uh, the improvements that have made, um, uh, I would not know that, but I can tell you that from an eye uh, perspective and my eye perspective, it is very, very nice. Uh, it's always nice to be around, again, uh, people who are excited about hockey. And again, the Central Hockey League is extremely excited just about the fact of hockey coming here. And at the same time, I can say that adding to that, when you have the caliber of individuals that are involved with the St. Charles uh, Chill hockey team, from the ownership uh, to Mr. Brent Thiessen and his staff, Patrick Armstrong, and as well as the coach, Jamie Rivers, I can tell you that you're in for a real treat. It's not without work and they all recognize that, and they're proven entities. So from the Central Hockey League, we're pretty excited. And having said that, I would like to introduce Mr. Brent Thiessen, the president of the St. Charles Chills. Thank you very much. Uh, it's, it's a pleasure to be here today. Um, and before we get to uh, the real meat and potatoes of why everyone is here, there's a couple people we'd like to thank uh, for making this dream a reality. Uh, first and foremost, Mayor Faith and her staff uh, and all of the council members. We certainly appreciate uh, everything you've done to make this uh, a reality. Uh, Jeff Burton, uh, Brian McKenna, thank you for being here today. Appreciate it. Um, also, Mark Reif Stack, the Family Arena Management and staff, very much appreciate all of your hard work to make this a, a hockey building again. We're excited to uh, drop the puck in October. Also, like to thank Director of Hockey Operations for the Central Hockey League, Jim Wiley, for making the trip in. Uh, it's great to have uh, a league that uh, is very excited to have us, uh, as, as we feel the same to be here. I'd like to thank our season ticket holders, uh, a couple that are in attendance today, uh, members of the media for being here and covering this. Uh, fellow hockey supporters, we certainly appreciate it. We are absolutely thrilled to be uh, the newest members of the Central Hockey League. Um, a little bit about the Central Hockey League for those of you who are, who are not familiar with it. Um, it is a double-A professional hockey league uh, with 10 teams, comprised of 10 teams throughout the Midwest. Uh, we have the Arizona Sundogs bookend uh, on the West. Uh, we also have the Brampton Beast, uh, uh, another new uh, Central Hockey League club uh, bookend on the east, a suburb of Toronto, our first Canadian team. Um, the Central Hockey League is entering its 22nd season of play come October. Uh, it is definitely an established league, uh, so we're very excited to be part of this. Many people here today may recall, in fact, I've even seen a, a T-shirt and a hat uh, from the days that the Missouri River Otters called this building home. Uh, and played professional hockey here. Uh, they had a rivalry uh, with the Quad City Mallards. Well, today we're very excited uh, to rekindle that rivalry as the Quad City Mallards play in the Central Hockey League. So there'll be a familiar rivalry, as well as adding a new in-state rivalry with the Missouri Mavericks over in, the in Kansas City. Um, of course, 
I say this without adding any additional pressure uh, to our head coach and general manager, but our fans can certainly expect to see a very competitive product on the ice. No pressure there. We believe this is a fantastic hockey market. Uh, we hope to be great partners with the St. Louis Blues, who do an amazing job of promoting the game of ice hockey throughout the, uh, St. Louis. Uh, the Blues will be offering support in many ways, from their alumni to their training staff, and uh, we're going to look for additional ways that we can partner with them. We hope to introduce many people to the game of hockey and provide a great value uh, for the families throughout St. Charles County and the surrounding region. When you attend a St. Charles Chill game, one of the things that you can expect is to have a first-class experience. The reason that we're here today is to provide family affordable entertainment, and no matter, no matter whether you're young or old, male or female, we plan on having something that's going to entertain you throughout the entire evening when you attend a Chill game. Our job is to provide a first-class uh, first experience from the moment you park your car until the moment you leave. That means whether we win the game 6-3 to three or lose 4-3, to three, we want you to come back to a chill game. We want you to have a memorable experience and one that you tell everybody that you're, you're proud to call your own. The one thing that I want to leave everybody with today is that this is your team. We want you to understand that you're going to have an access unlike any other, and it's going to be an experience unlike any other. And I promise you that we will provide that first-class entertainment. It's my pleasure here today to, number one, thank you all for coming and also in to introduce Patrick Armstrong, our Executive Vice President um, of Operations. Thank you all for coming. I'll be quick and get to, uh, while everybody's here, to, to see uh, the foundation being built, so to speak. Um, I want to first thank my wife and my beautiful seven-month-old daughter for making the trek up here today and uh, following me around this country uh, on our hockey journey of uh, minor league clubs. And I'm excited to be here and, and really excited to ingrain myself in this community, as is uh, the chill. We're, we will be everywhere. Uh, you, you will start to see us within the community, at parades, at rotaries. We will be everywhere, and that will be our focus as far as getting grassroots and getting down. You'll probably get sick of seeing Jamie's face, to be honest with you. Um, but we, we're, we know what it's going to take to to put a good product on the ice, and we know that we need the support of the community, and we will support the community as much as we can as well. Uh, moving forward, we do have a tagline or a theme for the season that you'll start to see. You might have seen it on Twitter a little bit. Uh, we're calling it Feel the Chill. That will be the theme of our inaugural season. It has so many meanings. Uh, from the moment you walk in the door, you'll feel that chill when you walk in. You know it's an ice rink. You know it's going to be pretty cool. You're going to see a hockey game. You'll also uh, feel the experience of the chill. It's going to be something you'll, you'll be excited to see and something that you'll want to come back and see each and every night. I do have a couple upcoming important dates uh, that we'd like to announce today. First of all, August 17th and 18th, right here at the Family Arena, we will have a Select a Seat event. Uh, that's basically for all our season ticket holders. Thank you to the season ticket holders current and the future season ticket holders. They'll be able to pick their seats exactly where they want to sit for all 33 games this year. We will also have an open house for anybody that will want to come and uh, take a look at the arena and find out exactly where they want to sit for our season. That's on August 17th and 18th. If you have any questions about season tickets, please ask any of our staff members. Michael, he's in the back as well. He's, uh, he's going to be helping out anybody that has any questions about season tickets today. Uh, August 23rd through the 25th. This has been something that has been asked about uh, multiple times on our social media. August 23rd through the 25th will be our Making the Cut, our free agent tryout camp. It will be held at Hardy's Iceplex. We will have more details to follow. But those dates, again, are Friday, August 23rd to August 25th at Hardy's Iceplex. We will drop the puck. Our home opener here at the Family Arena will be on Saturday, October 19th. We're very excited to do that. Um, so, so mark your calendar. Saturday, October the 19th. Don't be anywhere but here. Um, another item of business. It's been uh, a lot of... Uh, conversation within with us in the office as far as our, our mascot goes we will have a name the mascot contest coming up very shortly um, 
So please stay tuned to that. We'll, we'll try to encourage all the kids to vote on, on our mascot. So please follow stcharleschill.com or follow us uh, on our social media avenues. Um, right now, I'm going to ask Jamie to come up and help me. We're going to just unveil our jerseys and, and show everybody what we're going to be wearing this year. So here's our uh, St. Charles Chill jerseys this year. You'll see the, the C. We, we went for a traditional slash classic look. Um, we really like these jerseys. And the good thing is fans here will be able to see both our dark and our light jerseys here. The Central Hockey League uh, at the midway point of the season actually switches jerseys. So the fans will be able to see both jerseys here at the Family Arena. Um, and that's it for me. I know uh, everybody's here to hear Jamie and, and, and talk to... Uh, our new uh, members of our team. So without further ado, I'd like to introduce our head coach and general manager, Jamie Rivers. All right. What a great turnout. Thanks a lot, everybody, for being here. This is awesome. This is uh, uh, a very special day for not only myself, but everybody who is a part of the chill. So it's great to see a lot of familiar faces. It's great to see a lot of familiar faces in the media, as well as some fans who took their time out of their day to come down here. Um, first thing I want to address here, quite, for, quite honestly, is the state of the team. Um, I don't think things could be any more exciting than they are right now. Uh, you know, we established ourselves as a franchise just over a year ago, and here we are now. It looks like we are you know, got the pedal to the metal here, and we're going full throttle. And, Every day is more exciting. It's very busy. We're working really, really hard to get things done and to tie up loose ends and to, obviously, on my end, to put together a hockey team and, and to get ready to go. But uh, I don't think there's anything more exciting right now going on as far as uh, the St. Charles Chill is concerned. Uh, a couple of things I want to address here for me is, as a general manager now, uh, which thank you very much for the job promotion, um, it's nice to be the general manager as well as the head coach where... Now I'm handpicking my players and, and obviously doing homework and recruiting and talking to a lot of guys and talking to a lot of agents and really getting to know uh, how the process goes and how it works. And it's been great. I've tried to uh, learn a lot on the fly as we go. But one thing that I'm positive of is I wanted to build a very good foundation for this hockey club. I didn't want us to come out of the gate uh, kind of as an unknown team and, and not have a culture so to say, uh, I wanted to bring in guys who I thought exemplified leadership as well as talent, and they're going to be there every day, and they're going to create that winning culture that I want. And winning doesn't necessarily mean W's only. For me, it means that they're going to come out here every day. Even when the chips are down, they're going to give me everything they got. So I think the character side of it is just as important as the talent side. And uh, obviously the great city of St. Louis – <clears throat> and St. Charles area has done a fantastic job of developing some local talent over the years. And so without further ado, I'm going to start introducing some of our players who will come up one at a time and say a few words. Uh, first player I want to talk about here is a local kid. Uh, he's 28 years old right now, went to high school at CBC, and from there he went on to Northeastern University, played Division I college for four years, Ended up playing in the East Coast Hockey League for the Ontario Reign last season. He had 71 points in 71 games, 85 penalty minutes, and was a plus 27. Uh, I couldn't think of a better guy to bring up here in the first day to announce uh, as far as my culture is concerned. Uh, this guy's a hard worker. I've had the chance to work with him on a daily basis. He's a very talented player, and he's a natural leader. So uh, without further ado, I'd like to announce that Kyle Kramer is one of our first guys signed here. Get the hockey DVD, huh? How you guys doing? Uh, oh, it's kind of loud. Uh, I'm from St. Louis. I grew up in uh, North County. Uh, I, I live in St. Charles now currently. Uh, I'm really excited to be here. Uh, I haven't played home in 10 years. Uh, last time I played home was for CBC, so I'm looking forward to it. Uh, and uh, having Jamie be my coach, I'm really excited. Uh, great guy to have with a lot of connections. And, uh, you know, we're here to uh, bring this team a championship, so... Hope it goes good, and uh, thanks a lot for coming today. Appreciate it. All right, next guy I'd like to bring up here. I've known for a very long time. I've been friends with his family for a very, very, very long time. Um, he's 28 years old, product of Kirkwood. Went to high school in Kirkwood. He's got uh, 
AHL experience. He's had a chance to play in the American Hockey League. Uh, you know, when he's played in the East Coast Hockey League, he's been a point a game, a point a game guy. And in the last couple of years, he was the captain of Nottingham over in the UK Hockey League. And last year, led his team to the league championship. So, a uh, local guy here uh, in the same family as Rick Wilson, former Blue here. I'd like to introduce Jordan Fox. Hello, everyone. Uh, you know, it's a real honor to be here, to be uh, one of the first uh, players, uh, you know, signed to this organization. Uh, you know, it's a dr kind of a dream come true. You know, growing up, you want to play for the Blues, but I guess this is the the second best thing, and, uh, you know, hopefully uh, the fans come and support us, and I'm sure we'll be out in the community supporting the fans and, uh, you know, really make this a family atmosphere because, uh, you know, all the players on the team are a tight-knit group, and we want to be uh, tight-knit with the community. So uh, thanks a lot, and look forward to seeing you out there. All right, last guy I'm going to introduce up here today uh, is a young fella compared to these other two. He's 23 years old. He attended CBC as well as Marquette in high school. He left home, went and played in the OHL for the London Knights. He um, very good friends with Philip McRae, who obviously is the son of Basil McRae, former St. Louis Blues guy, and now obviously part of the London Knights. Tony comes to us from Stockton in the ECHL last year as a defenseman. He had 30 points in 62 games, 81 penalty minutes. He's a big, strong, fast skater physical guy, likes to muck it up, loves to get the puck up the ice. So I'm looking forward to working with Tony. So Tony, come on up here. I grew up in uh, Bowen. I actually see uh, my old coach in high school there, Rick Zombo, is out there, and uh, Lloyd Nay grew up, uh, growing up playing for him. Um, yeah, I'm really excited to be here. Um, my, my dad lives out in St. Charles. I live out in U City right now, so it's, uh, it's going to be great having a family instead of making a, a two-day road trip or, or a 12-hour drive to come see me. They'll, they'll just be right down the road. So I'm really excited. I'm super excited to play for a guy who's, who's played uh, everywhere and been in the NHL for a long time. Really looking forward to that. Thanks. All right, as far as player signings go, um, we will be adding some press releases on Monday. We do have a couple other guys that we are working on to get finished, and that will be announced. And uh, let's just say there's local flavor involved again. So uh, keep your eyes and ears open for that. Uh, to kind of wrap things up here, there's a couple things I want to say. Uh, one, I want to thank Family Arena and Mark Rivestech and all the staff, everybody that's involved here. You know, we've started out here uh, with a great partnership, and I know that it's just going to grow. So thank you for putting on this wonderful event and helping us out with all this. I also want to thank the Blues alumni. I know that there's a lot of guys that have showed up here today, which uh, I truly do appreciate. You guys are part of the brotherhood. We know that, and it's great to have you guys out here supporting uh, one of the old muckers up here. So thank you very much. Um, also want to mention as well that Patrick kind of hit on, we are having that Making the Cut camp, which is a free agent camp for anybody who feels like maybe they haven't had their chance yet or hadn't had their shot at getting out there. Uh, it's going to be held at the Chesterfield Ice Arena, and uh, that's in thanks to Lloyd Nay and, and his staff for putting that together and letting us do that over there. So we're really excited about that, as that will be the one that kicks us off into the new season and gets us going. Um, on that note, I would like to say thank you very much for everybody attending today, media and friends of myself and everybody up here and friends that I've had for a long time, thank you very much for making your presence be known here today. Mm -hmm.